Hello everyone and welcome back. I've had this topic requested a number of times, how to deal with plagiarism and theft in the music business. There are a lot of angles to discuss and I'll do my best to cover them all. I want to remind you, if you are in a serious situation, talk to a lawyer. I can try to guide you in the right direction, but at the end of the day, I'm a musician, not a legal expert. Disclaimer aside, let's dive in. One of the things I found musicians are often a little overly worried about is having their songs stolen by someone else. They're extra protective of their tunes and the fear that someone else will take it, record it, and make millions off of it. Here's the thing. If your song was so good that a major artist would steal it, you probably wouldn't be in a situation where you would need to worry about that. Any artist high up on the food chain is getting song after song thrown at them by the best writers in the world. They don't need to resort to stealing to get their next hit, and neither do the writers who have worked their way up to that position. Someone who has written songs that are that amazing probably has a publishing deal that will protect them from this. And I know what you're thinking, didn't Ed Sheeran rip off Destiny's Child? didn't Sam Smith have to give a writing credit to Tom Petty? At some point, almost every writer has inadvertently ripped off another musician. Could this become a legitimate problem for you? Doubtful. As soon as you've created a physical copy of a song, you own that song. If you can prove that a big hit is extremely similar to your song and the writer would have heard the original, it's time to lawyer up. Now, I know all the examples I've mentioned have all been about the higher tier of the music industry. I've never seen it, but this could very well be a bigger issue in the lower tiers. In my opinion, if there's not real money there, it's probably not worth getting worked up about. Instead, get out there, become bigger and better than the band that ripped you off, and leave them in your wake. At the end of the day, there's no harm in protecting yourself and getting your song registered at the copyright office of your country. In my opinion, your money's better spent elsewhere, but that's up for you to decide. What I would strongly discourage you from is not spreading or sharing your music in fear of it getting stolen. Now, there are situations where it is important to protect yourself. While I've never heard of someone having their song outright stolen, I have heard of people who've been screwed over by their bandmates. Imagine a situation, I'm the bass player in my band, I'm heavily involved in the writing process, but one day I'm kicked out. The band goes on to generate substantial income from the songs that I co-wrote, but I'm not seeing any of it. This can be an absolute mess to deal with. What I recommend is have some sort of agreement beforehand, the more official, the better. It can be a bit of a buzzkill to bring this stuff up, but trust me, you can save yourself some major headaches in the future. What percentage of the revenue from gigs is each band member in entitled to? How is the merch money split? If a band writes a song, how are the royalties going to be divided? Stuff like this. As much as it sucks to bring this stuff up, it sucks even more when there are real dollars on the table and nobody's getting along. Another place where theft of intellectual property is rampant is online. I've dealt with this so much I've accepted that it's simply a lost cause. You create a video that gains a fair bit of traction, that video is ripped from your page and uploaded natively elsewhere. What do you do? I'll note that this shouldn't be confused with sharing a link to an artist's YouTube. That's very different and highly encouraged. I'm talking about when somebody downloads a video and re-uploads it to, say, Facebook, for example. It's a huge problem. In my experience, the amount of time it takes to deal with it simply isn't worth it. Generally, YouTube has a pretty good hold on this. There's a content ID system that alerts me if somebody re-uploads one of my videos. I can then choose to receive ad revenue from it or have it taken down. This shouldn't be confused with repurposing a video which can fall under fair use. Facebook and other websites don't yet have a system in place to detect this, so the best thing you can do is contact the uploader or file a DMCA complaint. However, this can quickly get to the point where it's highly time consuming. You need to decide if it's worth your while. Now, stealing is different than finding inspiration in an idea and recreating it with a personal spin. There are many licks I use that I learned from someone else who learned it from someone before him. This is instrumental in musical development and everyone at some point has done this. In fact, with genres like folk and blues, copying is deeply embedded in the tradition. B.B. King was quoted as saying, I don't think anyone steals anything, all of us borrow. This of course can make it fairly difficult figuring out what's kosher and what's not. I don't have a perfect answer for this. I've trusted my gut, which has kept me out of trouble thus far. You usually know when you're doing something wrong. It's important to note that covering a song is not stealing or plagiarism. Once a song has been recorded, there is something called a compulsory license. This means that anyone can cover a song assuming the proper royalties are paid out. You do not need permission from the writer or artist. Paying the proper royalties is as easy as uploading your songs to iTunes, etc. Using a service that will do this for you, I use something called SoundDrop. 
If you're printing physical copies, you can find more information at cmrra.ca if you're Canadian, or the Harry Fox Agency website if you're American. I'll put some links in the description for you. If this all seems complicated, the world of sampling is even trickier. If I take a short snippet of someone else's song, piece it together with another sample to create a new song, how do I deal with the copyright? This is a whole can of worms, but my understanding is that generally you want to get permission from the artist and pay a fee upfront. If this applies to you, I'll link to more information in the description. So to wrap this up, my biggest advice to you is to protect yourself where you can and figure out which battles are worth fighting. I believe that the best use of your time is not to worry about getting plagiarized, but instead focus your efforts on making music that's so good it's worth stealing. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video interesting and you'd like to learn more on this stuff, I want to recommend you guys a book, All You Need to Know About the Music Business. There's American and Canadian versions to suit your respective needs. I'll put a link in the description. It's a must read for anyone serious about this industry. And an especially big thank you to everyone who supports my page through Patreon. You guys make these videos possible. If you're interested in getting involved in that program, check out that link down there. Till next time, I'm Samurai Guitarist and I will see you again soon.